fell in love with rugby, I think the moment I went to my, my school in Cambridge, which is a rugby school, St Edmunds College in Manuka, you had options in terms of winter sports. You had football, like soccer, you had AFL, you had hockey and you had rugby. And the closest thing to rugby league for me was rugby union. And I, I played that from about under 10s and I've been playing it ever since. Well, I played until I retired about three years ago. Owens Oval was the main oval in, at my school at St Edmunds College and it was almost like the sort of field of dreams. You wanted to be on that main field. It seemed so big at the time, particularly growing up, and you'd watch the first 15 play. Oh, I don't remember my first match of rugby union for St Edmunds. I know it was under 10s. I remember my first coach. He was a wonderful coach, Jack Maguire, and he was really good in terms of teaching me the skills, teaching me the game strategy, tactics. Oh, that's, I fell in love with the game by doing that. And um, I remember playing a lot of cold games <laughs> in Canberra in winter. There was a particular sport I thought I'd like to represent my country, and that was cricket. I love, I love cricket, and I was fortunate enough to play um, representative cricket through the junior age bracket. But I played against some really good players, people like Ricky Ponning, Stuart McGill, I played against Adam Gilchrist, and I realised that <laughs> this is quite a jump. They were, they were incredibly good cricketers, and I was not as good as those players, so I was fortunate um, that I was OK at rugby. So I changed my plans in terms of pursuing a sport, and that was rugby, through getting a scholarship at the Australian Institute of Sport in Canberra. A sporting pedigree in the family helps, like a good genetics can help to a degree, that's for sure, but nothing beats hard work, like that whole saying, you know, I got lucky overnight, but it took me 10 years to get there, so that kind of happens a lot, not just in sport, in a whole walk of life. I have no doubt that my junior days gave me a great grounding for future success.